Story Cup 4 with me, Alish and Ecop on the casting bench. We've got one match to go. Uh, you know, Frodan did make it through to the round of 16 that earlier. That was awesome. Uh, yeah, it really was. And Tice is uh, going to battle for a chance to actually make it through as well. Uh, you know, him and um, Super JJ will be fighting for the second slot of their group stage. Whoever loses this is just out. There's like no chance of them going through. And that's actually the last match of today, right? Right, so the let's last get match some of the day. hype up in here. Let's get some hype? Sure. Um, I'm ready for some hype. Twitch yeah. spam Pog Jam. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you know what? Just do it. Um, in the meantime, I'll be talking about the Facebook raffle because uh, I have to. So it's the Take TV <laughs> raffle. If you guys want to check it out, uh, it's going to be on their Facebook page, so facebook.com slash Take TV. You can get yourself some amazing chairs, as you can see here. You know, the purple border and stuff. Looks really comfortable. There's only one in the EU and one in the US to gain. And then you might get yourself some cool Hearthstone card packs. Uh, if you're a broke free-to-play player who quests like a pleb, this will accelerate your, I mean, your card collection acquisition, so I kind of like that. Uh, as far as uh, the whole swag stuff, you've got two jackets, I mean, amazing hoodies that you can get, um, hashtag sellout, and then <laughs> just the place you have to fill, it's very easy, you just put your name, your country, your email address. Honestly though, those prizes are really legit, so uh, if you guys want to check them out, facebook.com slash take TV, and you just make sure that you go here, Seat Story Cup for raffles, just to make sure that you enter, and then we'll contact you as soon as uh, the winners are selected. So, back to the game. Uh, so yeah, Super JJ versus Tice. Um, I feel like Tice, you know, he did say he he didn't prepare very much, right? Yeah, I mean, like he was playing BlizzCon, right? The BlizzCon is on the conquest format. Now they are playing the Azero standing. Uh, it's totally com like totally completely different. You have one more deck, you have one a ban, uh, and if you win with the deck, you stick with the deck. Yeah. Right? So. Um, you get actually not punished as much if you have a wrong deck in your lineup because you only have to play it once and if you uh, die with it, it's fine for you. You don't have to win with it, I yeah, see. Yeah, exactly. Um, so it's a little bit different. I think there's a little bit more tactics behind it if you want to prepare your lineup a little bit. Yeah. But uh, JJ, I think he prepared a lot for this tournament. Yeah, he did and he's, he's actually scouting his opponents. So like, I know during the last match, um, he was preparing, like he was just watching Dice play versus Show, and he was just making sure that he knew what was going to come out of the decks. I know Ecop, you played a lot of Last Row Standing back in the days. Um, do you do you prefer to conquest, or do you not mind either way? I definitely prefer to conquest because um, the level of um, yeah, the many levels on which you can outplay your opponent, not only within the game, but only in preparation, uh, like the way you select your decks, the way you pick and ban uh, your decks, that you uh, how you queue them up. It's just. Um, yeah, you can just outplay your opponent on some levels, which is why in last year's standing, usually the most, uh, the more skilled player will win. Yeah, I mean, one of the cool things with it, I, like, is that it relates a lot. Um, like, it's a lot more interesting from a deck building standpoint because tech cards matter a lot, like a, a huge amount, and you will tend to see cards that you don't necessarily see all the time in Conquest because they're more like those decks tend to translate very well. To and you can idea. actually see classes that you don't see in Conquest. You've seen, I think, like four shamans make it to top sixteen. Uh, right. So yeah. that's pretty impressive as well. But yeah, oh, we could jump into the game. It's uh, Hunter against Druid. And it's not classic Druid. It's like more aggressive Druid with Fell Reavers and stuff. So. Yeah, even Druid found a way to turn up. Like, you would think that mid range Druid was aggressive enough on Curve. I think this deck just takes it to a whole new level. <laughs> and people are, like, some people are really aggravated by the Druid. But I'm kind of happy that they're getting something else than just mid range. Because for the longest time, that, like, Ramp disappeared a while back. Yeah. I'm not sure when exactly. But yeah. There's plenty of ways to build through it. There's also like this token variant, oh my which God. pops up on a ladder sometimes <laughs> yeah, with eggs and stuff. But yeah. Uh, yeah, this is not competitive enough, unfortunately. Uh, so people just stick to the uh, cookie cutter aggro druid or mid range druid nowadays. Yeah. But so this is a bad actually thing for Druid here. The, f the f freezing trap is gonna be insane against Fel Reaver. Fel Reaver is not gonna be able to attack here. And then you sh like you miss one turn, you miss a lot of cards while waiting. And the you lose the shade, yeah. yeah. It's basically, it costs you a total of like eight mana if you want to replay it, because exactly. you three and then five against a deck that's aggressive like this, right? So, a little painful. Oh man, yeah, like usually it doesn't matter what you mail, but in this case, it's uh, your entire deck, so it might actually matter. Yeah, it might actually <laughs> matter a lot. A little bit. Yeah, with the damage that Super JJ on the board has right now, he can actually raise the Spell Reaver fairly easily. So, um, unless Tice draws some sort of uh, swipe here um, to kind of clear the board, oh, hopefully. Oh, the charge minion! That's insane. Now the Freezing Trap is actually gonna like not pop the Shade, which is a big thing. Oh, Whoa. is he going for the Shredder, though? Tice is... Uh, 
Actually, he doesn't know what this trap is. Keep that in yeah. mind. That's but, a big deal. Sure, he didn't attack because he was afraid it was freezing, but now he's thinking maybe I can check for something else. But doesn't he know, like, this is the last game of the series, uh, of the group, right? So they probably scouted their opponents? I mean, at this point, maybe uh -huh. he wants to use the, the charge later as a removal piece. Makes sense. Um, and four is the... Because right now, I think Super JJ might want to be trading. You know, assuming he doesn't have, like, a crazy finisher, because the Druid is still on 24 health. Uh, there's a chance that Super JJ decides he wants to trade a bit, but I'm sure he won't do it before extracting as many cards out of the deck uh, as he can. Yeah, and Lotep is not bad here at all. Uh, he can set up like a big minion on the board. He can actually kill the Fell Reaver, and maybe get another freezing trap. Another freezing trap, uh, freezing trap would be nuts. Uh, Snake isn't bad either. Uh, maybe if you could see what trap it is. I think going? he's running two freezings. I haven't seen Snake. I feel like a lot of the time in this event, when I've seen Snake, uh, it seems like it's just not doing much. And when it does, it's like it's getting swept away with consecration with the patrons, like the AOEs. So I'm not sure how many players brought it. Yeah. Uh, so. From the Super JJ, he can play on low tap. His low tap, it's not too bad. It's something like Doctor Boom, Doctor Boom. But yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's an interesting like. A there's a lot of those uh, you it, know counter counters. I like this play. This is a little too mana efficient. Uses his uh, five mana crystal sufficiently. Does not like waste one mana crystal by uh, or two mana crystals even by going for the charge minion immediately. He's gonna go for a charge minion plus keep of the grove most likely next turn. Just basically filling his mana curve out perfectly. But unfortunately, it won't be. It probably won't be enough because, like, look at this aggression that Super JJ is yeah, putting he, out. He's looking for something more than what he's got, right? Like, there's no way what he's got on the board right now as a druid is going to be enough um, to stop the hunter. But there's always a chance that, like, if he clears up this board a little bit and somehow picks up an Ancient of Lore, and the hunter just whiffs, you know, on every draw, you just get, like, really terrible cards, then you can always maybe heal a little bit out of range and then pick up a crazy combo turn. Um, yeah, however, we know that Agro Druid does not run healing. So, all right, that's right. He's playing the aggro yeah. variant. Never mind. Yeah, he doesn't even play lore. Yeah, so um, yeah, that, that's a completely, every, completely irrelevant. <laughs> noxious. With, with what every, are you talking with about? Every time that Super JJ presses that hero power, he comes like one turn closer to kill Tice. Oh my God! So much uh, talk, so little purpose. So there's a keeper. Uh, keeper's probably gonna just hit that. And Give me an unstable ghoul, an Arnoyotron. No, he needed a taunt. He yeah, needed a taunt he doesn't have time. healing. That is mm. nothing. And actually, Animal Companion here is pretty good because if you get Leok and if you get Huffer, like two outcomes are actually good, you know. Leok gives you only two damage, but it's still something. Uh, so I would expect that. And yeah, it's a Huffer, like. Pretty good. Pretty decent, I'd say. <laughs> so I suspect is telling a story. I'm fairly sure we're going to see Hero Power instead of Argent Horse Rider here. Mm -hmm, definitely. I, I hope so. I mean, there's always, like, there's probably a good argument to be made for the Horse Rider since anyway you're bringing down your opponent to one. Um, so there's probably, like, you could probably defend that play. What's because it, like if there's a taunt, then but it doesn't do anything more than next turn with hero power. I think right now what JJ is considering is uh, is he dead to a potential innervate combo? Yeah, or maybe like is he counting like Druid Claw, Savage Roar, a Force of Nature, Savage Roar that with innervate, as you said. Yeah, like um, he, he basically wants to see if he has to go uh, to kill the low tip with a uh, one-one spider. Yeah, but it's actually a pretty easy map, right? Like uh, Druid Claw would not make it. Uh, so does Force of Nature? Savage Roar oh, wow. makes it. Force of Nature Savage Roar is 6, 12, 14, 20. Actually, Innervate Force of Nature Savage, Savage Roar would it. win. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. But it's three specific cards. Uh, I don't know if we saw those cards being milled for the Fell Reaper. I know we saw one Savage Roar gone. Mm -hmm. We saw the other Innervate gone. So he knows there's no more Innervates. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, yeah, he knows. So there's no he more. knows there's no more possibility because there's no way that the Druid can ramp up any further. Um, anyway, that yeah. was uh, kind of a quick game. Yeah, yeah, not bad. Pretty quick start uh, for Super JJ. Exactly what he wanted to have with that hunter, and um, right now he just wants to ride this wave of uh, speedy momentum. Yeah, I hope so. Uh, I feel like JJ is on. Uh, he's pretty on point. Aside from Frodan, just completely wrecking everyone. Um, you know, <laughs> I actually haven't seen that well. game. No, actually, I've seen the game. I haven't seen the game. Uh, Frodan versus Tice. Uh, that was that was absolutely like I was casting it. Like, I it was got completely dude three zero with secret paladin. Just, oh my like, god! Complete blowout. Wrecked. Like just complete wrecked. blowout. Um, but he, I mean, it's kind of nice to see. Like, he's just, he's so excited. Like you see Frodan walking around. He's like he's walking as though he owns the place, <laughs> which I mean, technically he could probably buy it out. But um, it's like. He's just so happy that he managed to uh, prove a Go point. Right. Because it's exactly the opposite of what he was expecting going right. into this tournament. 
He was like, and I'm going to do a show he, match. And right? he had the hardest group, like literally hardest group to yeah. go through. He had Thais, he had Shaw, and he has like he had Super JJ in the group. So really, really good performing from yeah, him. Yeah, definitely, definitely a tough challenge for Frodan, and he managed it masterfully. Yeah, I like, I really like uh, to see Frodan's attitude. Like he just seems super pumped. Yep. And actually, we can jump into the second match, and it's going to be Freeze Mage versus this Druid uh, versus this Hunter that we've seen. And I got to say, Freeze Mage is pretty favorite. Not that much, but it's still favorite. Yeah, it used to be the, like Hunter could actually beat them pretty much every single time, but mm -hmm. nowadays, uh, like number one, you can't run Flare anymore, and the addition of Healbot to the whole yeah, double the ice, like Ice Barrier really makes. Hey, it you easier. can always run Flare. It's just <laughs> yeah, a you, you of could. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, you could. That's right. But um, yeah, I mean. I am always going to stick to the Hunter side on, in this particular matchup. I, I always would think that Hunter is going to be favored. I, I, I embrace the Smork. Because it's easier to misplay as Freeze Mage? Yeah, ha, that's true. In my case, yeah. yeah I, mean, it, look, <laughs> I mean, if you're playing, say, as a... <laughs> you know what it reminded me of? I actually <laughs> did not mean to remind you of anything, but... <laughs> ah, <laughs> that's yourself. why I gave him that Frostbolt uh, on the face. That was not a misplay. That was a misplay. That was a misplay. Okay? Oh, yeah, okay. That was not sure. a misplay. <laughs> The, the other oh, misplay, was was awesome. against, misplay was against Colento. Oh yeah. After that. Oh yeah, I remember that too. I actually casted the game that you were first bolting your own face. Yeah, yeah. That was I fun. Know. And the, the face Egob had afterwards. Oh, that was, was golden. Good times. Good times. All right. So, uh, like actual serious talk. What do you do? Do you use Glavezuka to push I think, I think a bit more damage? I think you can Glavezuka or just zero power. Uh, I think Glazika is a little bit better because there, you will not have much time to play Glazika later, you, right? You'll have Your curve, companion. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Your curve is really good, so might as well play the Glazika for that one more extra damage right now. Yeah, one of the, the upsides as well of having Glazika is that uh, if Mad Scientist number two comes out ever, like you always have a little bit of uh, such like, a curve. Oh, this is really good. Yeah, what you said, like you have turn oh. three. Ooh. Well, punch face. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's a good I mean, thing. He, he can't ping his own acolyte, right? Like he has to trade it away and then ping. So he's not gonna draw two cards, only the one. Yeah, uh, I mean, could, might as well you can like too. frostbolt, Mad Scientist. That's pretty good. You get some board on. Sure. Yeah. Uh, so you can like trade your enemy minions and. Yeah. But from Super JJ's nice. perspective, he's probably okay with Huffer. Yeah. Which I like. So. This is actually a really good board for Freeze Mage. It's, it's not, very unusual. Yeah. Like they have minions. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> so now, as what you've been saying, right, the Glaivezuka actually is going to be quite useful. He can clear that Mad Scientist. It's not going to be as easy uh, for Thais to get rid of the creep, uh, uh, Shredder. And yeah, yeah pretty the good. With the Frostbolt gone, Thais will have big trouble <laughs> dealing with that. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a little tricky, but now you just see the Freeze Mage is going to be able to draw kind of the way that it wants. Um, Arcanine and plug there as well. Right. The Ice Lance is going to be pretty important as well to stall a high main uh, if necessary. You know, if, if things get really bad. And I think that's one of the big upsides, I think, of playing that, uh, you know, the high main and mid range hunter against uh, Freeze Mage is that even though they're able to clean up boards, they still can't clean a high main easily. Like, they have to go fireball, maybe, you know, stop the hyenas or survive them, and then maybe get them with a blizzard or flame strike uh, one or two turns down the line sometimes. Yeah. And this is one of the reasons why I pick. Um the mid-range hunter is the favorite here, like mid-range or hybrid hunter, because of those high mains. They are so yeah. hard to deal with. So annoying. Like when you when you play a face hunter, for example, it's a little bit different because there's not this uh, this beefy. Mi there are not those beefy minions um, that have high sur survivability, and it's just easier to counter it with healbot and two ice barriers, right? Yeah. No, that makes a lot of sense. Now, is Dice ever going to consider something like? Because right now, you know, he's holding up what like he's got the Alex, mm -hmm. he's got the ice block. Um, he's probably not dead next turn, so he's thinking maybe I can set up, like I've got a Nova for one more turn. If I can set up, a, like in a, a universe when I have a Nova, maybe a Blizzard, and then I Alex on curve and I have my Ice Block up, I can probably kill my opponent if I find the right cards. Yeah, that's the way to do it as well, right? And if you maybe like for this combo he draws another, uh, another... Any uh, burst. Ice block. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 just burst, like Ice Block so we can like kill him in two turns. Yeah. That's even better. Okay, so uh, just Smork face. I mean, putting him enemy on t uh, 10 health, it's pretty, pretty good because Alexstrass is a long time. Like, it's going to take yeah. a while before it comes out. Uh, Tice actually doesn't even have a Doomsayer to like do go with his Frost Nova. And even the Frost Nova, like, even if he Doomsayers, there's 
like Doomsayer, Frost Nova, there's a minion from Shredder, two small high mains, you know. You, you have, that's the thing, you don't yeah. lose the board really. Exactly. Like, they still have to have a Blazer, they still have to have a Flame Strike, and if they have those, maybe they don't have healing or a win condition. So you're still, you know, you're still getting the time that you need uh, immediately. So I kind of like uh, the position that Super JJ is in. He's actually rocking, uh, like with this Hunter. Uh oh. So there's a second Ice Lance, and now what you just said is actually pretty, pretty possible. Yeah. Like, uh, he can Frost Nova this turn, maybe if he has, like, uh, He's got two Blizzard. draws, right? Exactly, actually, yeah. Actually, more than that. He has three he can, draws. Yeah, with the Acolyte, you can pin, maybe so that's four, four draws. Oh, oh, my God! And this is insane, because... <laughs> wow. Whoa. Is this is this enough, though? Because, like, we actually see that Arcane Super JJ Joker has uh, Echo Command, right? Oh, my goodness. Okay, you kill that. I mean, the, the ice block is getting popped. Yeah, it is. So you absolutely you have to, to find, like, a heal bot or something. I don't know, to go heal bot, uh, Nova on the following turn. But it doesn't alive. help, right? Like, I mean, you still need to, even if you Nova and heal bot, you still need to get another ice block before you can Alex. Right, that's the problem. Like, no turn that you ever get is going to get you the, to the win. If the Hunter Hand was different, say, Eagle Horn Bow and a Trap, Yep. Um, then that would work. But in this case, it doesn't really matter too much for... And that Leper Gnome is going to make board clears pretty much impossible. You can go kill, command, arcane, attack, and then Leper and just pass. Yeah. Sit on it. Sounds good. Oh, man. Actually, Thais would be in kind of okay position if he had one more mana and he'd be able to play the Ice Barrier. But because of this, uh, yeah. He's, He's going to get bought, that's right. Mm -hmm. And he can actually keep the arcane. Uh, I mean, uh, the kill command if he, uh, if he wants to. He decided not to. Why? Why would you? Could keep. Why could he keep it? Uh, because he could just. Uh, oh no, he can. Yeah, you yeah, have yeah, to play yeah, the Yeah, you're missing the damage. And now, Alex Straza can come out because the uh, extra mana crystal was given, but it's not nearly enough to help. So you have to find ice block, ice barrier, Nova on the same turn. And that's pretty much not happening. Yeah, this is the game. Wow. Yeah, yeah that was... JJ taking it. Yeah. Two games in a row. He's and taking it. Do, you, do we know what uh, Warrior does Thais play? Um, I think it's Patron, but I'm not... I couldn't tell you. Did he play Control at BlizzCon? No, no, no he plays Patron. He, played Patron. he plays Patron, And I would, and right? I would be fairly sure that he brings Patron again. Right. I, in my opinion, Patron is uh, the better Warrior the in the current meta game. I mean, the thing is that it still beats Freeze Mage. Right? Which you're kind of afraid of yeah. if you're playing some of the standard lists, like standard decks. It just but performs way better against the Pala defense exactly, as well. Right, so it doesn't have any of the downsides of Control Warrior. So. I mean, I can talk about it. I got 3 0 against Green Patron here, so... I mean, I, I won one game there, so... Oh, well, nicely done. Yeah, Grass. Right. I wouldn't have won one. So Ty's on his uh. last deck? Yeah, I mean, this is the last match of the day. This is possibly the last game of the day. Um, and Super JJ is pretty much cleaning up Thais completely. And if Thais loses this, he's out. Another favorite gone out of Seed Story Cup, potentially. Yeah, um, I think like he, he came here accepting that it would probably not be like the best performance of his life, knowing that he didn't prepare that much. Yeah. Um, but, it, you know, with a hand like this, though, with a hand like this... Against, uh, against Hunter? It's pretty, yeah. It's pretty, Anything pretty is possible. Good. And I mean... If you have to have, if you have to pick one deck to go three zero with, it's gonna be. I, I would go with Green Painter. Right, like we've seen Oskaka do it a mm -hmm. couple of games ago against Elki, right? So crazy! That series was completely nuts. Yeah. Totally, it came down to the wire. But yeah, Oskaka prevailed in that case, and three zero with Patron. Can yeah. I do the same? I, I don't know, man. Like. Um, Oskaka said that he was really scared, and now I think he respects Elki a lot more as a player. And that's great to hear, right? Yeah, for sure. Elki proved that he can hang with the best, and uh, yeah, unfortunately for him, it didn't. It wasn't quite enough. Yeah, but Spurgeon, he played but amazingly. Yeah, he did play very well. So actually, a really, really good thing for Thais is here that uh, Hunter is not developing minions right now. Like, if you're a Hunter, I know it's fine to have those tech cards like Wake Shot, Freezing Trap, but you want to kind of like get Freezing Trap from your Mad Scientist and stuff, and you want to develop ma minions early because if you don't, you're like you're losing, you're losing uh, just the board presence, which will deal damage. Yeah. Now, obviously, you want to get them out. I mean, this is a really important minion to have. Mm -hmm. um, and in this case, you know, the Armorsmith being gone without having killed anything is a really big deal. So keeping that Morgan against Stealth, it obviously was the right play. It, it rarely backfires unless there's a whirlwind, and one minion's not worth whirlwinding over. So there's the Echolion coming on board, which is going to be annoying again. Uh, you can even frothing, but I don't think frothing. I actually like frothing and kill the Worgen. Because um, you do force the opponent to have. Uh -huh. like, yeah, maybe just do that yeah. more damage. Mm -hmm. You or force him to really uh, play defensively yeah, right yeah. afterwards. And he's going to be scared out of his mind. And you're playing for Tempo with Shredder as a follow-up. So. 
Actually, yeah, because like one whirlwind now is so annoying, right? So this is uh, pretty this good. Frothing will get stopped by the freezing trap right now. And just punching to the face. Yeah, the payoff was the potential payoff was great, but then whirlwind, out. battle rage, go. Ooh, good. That's enough. armor smith, right? Yeah. Yep. That's the armor smith. Uh, I'm just too short. I can't see that. He's got. Uh, he's basically got a curve, right? With shredder now, then you kill something, then you play armor smith acolyte next turn. So seems pretty good. And freezing trap on his cheaper minion is probably a little bit nicer. And they contest the one drops very well. And you started the weapon to kill it one two one, so. Yeah, you're good. Bad. Yeah. yeah, JJ facing down an awkward turn. He needs like a really good minion to play right no, now. This is perfect. That's a really good card. <laughs> this is perfect. No way. Oh, that's less perfect. It's still good. This is actually the first Misha. Like, first not Huffer. What? Oh, <laughs> that is perfect that's for him. <laughs> that's it. That's this is insane. insane. No way. Oh, oh my, my god. Now, now he can even armor smith, acolyte, like, uh, inner rage, inner rage and, and trade. Oh, this is this absolutely oh nuts. Sometimes lucky. Sometimes luck, he trade the board away, get a full clear, and get a card draw and some armor. Let's see JJ's reaction to that. Seriously. Esports. That's pretty much the reason why um, Shredder is... You know, uh, the thing is, I've been waiting for Ghoul all two days, right? Every single time I see a Shredder, I'm like, unstable Ghoul. I, it never showed up, but I got it. It's here. Yeah. yeah. And you were here to witness it. Yeah. It's like the, <laughs> the best moment of my casting life. <laughs> <laughs> Getting emotional. Oh god, battle rage for draw. Yeah, the high main is kind of annoying, but uh, Thais actually has battle rage for three cards oh, now. The Corsair, is, the Corsair is good enough, because you just stop it for one turn. Mm -hmm. uh, it gives you time, right? Yeah. So, if you want to execute, you can deal with it immediately. Uh, the execute was not drawn, but I mean, it's still not bad. Well, uh, you've got the Acolyte to draw with later, so yeah. like technically, unless there's a massive blowout, you're guaranteed to get quite a bit of armor from the Armorsmith alone. Um, unless something comes up, because, you know, he has to go through Corsair. He's absolutely got to, you know, maybe feed you more armor through the minions you've already got. And you're going to get at least one card from the Acolyte. And, you know, what could come out here that's really annoying? Like, the bow is the best thing. So, this is actually pretty interesting. Uh, Thais decided to go face with this Fiery War X. Um, not really sure why that was. Um, maybe trying to... Represents something he doesn't have. Oh, look yeah, at, maybe, look at the sequencing. The uh, mad scientist before the knife juggler. He does not want to give um, armor nice and additional and armor or even the card and armor. Yeah, the worst. But with the acolyte drawing two cards here, like the whirlwind gives you a card and some armor. You can kill the juggler, get another card, find an execute for that. I mean, you could even play the acolyte first or the patron and Is still do that. Is it maybe fine to play yeah, Patron, Whirlwind, yeah. then just kill the high main with your Acolyte? <laughs> it's hard to misplay this yeah. turn. Mm, sounds pretty good. Yeah. Gotta, like keep, gotta, gotta kill the Juggler first, so the Juggler's still the yeah. high main. Actually, you might want them with Patrons on the board. I'm not sure about oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 actually, yeah, you, yeah, you definitely want them. You definitely want them. Oh, yeah. You might want some Juggles to happen Let's see here. what happens here. Oh, man, the MLG Juggles. Let's see. Okay, so two juggles coming on board, and do they hit the patron? Oh, no, this wow. is a bad juggle. That's a sniper. Oh, if this hit, oh, oh if there that hit Armorsmith one, uh, again, that would be terrible, actually. Yeah, it's the worst case scenario because you have like the smallest possible board, <laughs> and uh, you really don't get any value out of this. But now you can get a bit more armor from the Armorsmith and uh, clean up one of the hyenas. Probably there's no yeah. reason not to kill a beast when it's showing up. And uh, good luck to Super JJ getting this like this done. Twenty four. 24 health is really, really good. Here. Ah, pretty sweet. You can, and uh, Unleash does nothing. Well, it's some damage, right? I mean, it's some damage, but... You kill a patron, you return another one, and then you have beasts. And if you don't have a whirlwind, you can maybe do something? Maybe do something. Yeah, but one, we one see that there is an unstable ghoul there in the hand, right? So. Yeah. One of those override patrons Override your death bite. Oh, dude, just override death bite. Like, you just do death bite, death bite. Oh, even that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh man. <laughs> oh, he's such a trolley play. I'd do that. I mean, I'd do it. Like, you like, get patrons, man. You get patrons. It's actually, it's actually, it's actually really fine, right? Why yeah, not? Yeah, it's, why not? Exactly. it's a really good play. Because well, not really good, but it's good. It's good I mean, you, you can go safer with like the unstable ghoul, but unstable ghoul like, sucks if open and top decks owl, right? Right. So, uh, you could go for double deads, but. Yeah, it's, I like, can it's see that. like an auto. Like it's a guarantee you clear the board, mm -hmm. and there's not a chance that you get punished for it very often. Now, the question is whether or not he's going to trigger the trap. Uh, with, yeah, so he's getting less patrons. Yeah. I if he's going fun. for the death bite, if he goes for the ghoul, this is probably better. 
Okay, so he actually even decides to go for uh, the frotting. So oh, man. Get more damage on board and probably kill your opponent next turn. Well, yeah, with double death bite and the whirlwind effect on a board like this, it's always very possible. Yeah, <laughs> and there comes the cup seed. <laughs> oh, when a hunter knows he's beat. Yeah. So, I mean, this, this might be the beginning of the reverse sweep we're talking about. Mm -hmm. It's totally possible. Yeah, it's still really possible. Like, Grim Patron is still probably the, one of the best decks, if not the best deck in the meta. I actually talked to um, JJ before the match, and uh, he was having, like, he was really distressed, I would even say. Uh, like, he didn't know what to ban, actually. Like, should I ban Paladin or should I ban uh, the Warrior? Right. Because uh, against both those decks, he felt very unconfident, but, like, like um, uh, I had told him to ban Paladin, and like um, Firebat told him this, this as well, so he just went with that. Because technically Paladin is even better against his decks. Uh, but yeah, the pa against the Patron, he will struggle for sure. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's going to be a difficult game, but he's got Druid. Like, people say um, Druid is usually, you know, decent against Control Warrior. That's not even the case anymore, and Patron still maintains that turn 5 complete board weight. Like, you just Death Bite on 5, then Inner Rage, and lose the Death Bite, and you usually just take it from the Druid, no matter what. Yes. Okay, so we can actually jump into the other game, and this is gonna be Warrior against Druid. And this, even though it like when Grim Patron came out, like a lot of people felt like Grim Patron is so favorite. Uh, with uh, you know, if you don't have that insane hand at the beginning of the game, with like that's by the Grim Patron and Enrage, uh, this is pretty coin flippy matchup. Yeah, I mean you have to if you get Shredders on like on if you get the tempo cards like Frothing on three, Shredder on four, you you can probably. Be fine without the turn five patrons, but otherwise it's kind of your it's your crutch. Yeah. If you get it, you always are able to put pressure. And the fun thing is because Grim Patron doesn't work the way it used to, people are teching against it like less and less. Like it doesn't it matters less. Um, yeah, and that actually hurts a lot. Yeah. So we see that uh, Super JJ is not a good Druid, uh, druid player because he didn't draw Wild Growth <laughs> and he didn't draw down as a spirit. Yeah. And there's three combos. <laughs> But Tyson, like, I could teach you a lesson, mate. I could exactly. totally teach you how to do it properly. I, I can draw those cards, no even, problem. Even I can. Oh. <laughs> Three combo pieces in JJ's hand already also doesn't help. Yeah, and the keeper here is pretty good because you deny those draws from Acolytes. Uh, yeah, the weapon's good though, like, because the ghoul will, you know, pop everything. And you could always use slam weapon and you wipe the board clean. Like, it's very, very solid. Yeah, by the way, what I want to also point out is that, like, Super JJ decided not to attack with his uh, Shapeshift in the turn two. Uh, that way he is, like, pretty, like, better against Battle Rage. I mean, Ty's denied it, uh, but sometimes, you know, when they have, like, armor up, armor up turns, yeah, uh, it you, actually matters a lot. Yeah, if they end up playing it slowly and you don't deal damage to them, then you deny that one extra draw, which could, like, it, it could be a big deal. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the things to note as well is that because he didn't armor up, right, uh, and the battle rage got value, his health total may be a bit, you know, uh, lower than it could be. Sometimes they're, like, 34 at this point instead of 28. And with one Force of Nature Roar in hand, all he needs to pick up is, like, a second copy. And if he's able to Maybe go Emperor. through... Yeah, Emperor, <laughs> Emperor Thorsten would also work pretty well. Emperor Innervate and you have double force of nature, Savage Roar. Sounds pretty balanced. <laughs> I know, right? I love Emperor. Kappa slash slash. Uh, forget Kappa Ross, man. Oh. Everybody spam Kappa Ross. Being Tice here, how do you deal with as a Drake right now? Do you even deal with it? Or can I mean, you just I mean, ignore it? You can like sh slam it and kill with your weapon, but I think Shredder on the board is maybe better. You can slam coin Shredder, but you deny the boom on curve. Ah. But if your turn six consists of Shredder number two with Armor Smith, uh, like it's it's all right. Oh, he gets that. Oh my god. That's, that's a pretty, pretty good pick up. Yeah, that's a pretty clutch draw. This way he saves the coin for the Dr. Boom. Yeah, that's actually really solid. Oh yeah, fills out the, the, the curve perfectly with a Dread Corsair after picking <laughs> it up from the slam. Uh, Very nice turn, he's, uh, Next turn he still has the Dr. Boom, which is really, really important. Yeah, I mean, th this is, like, without a BGH, the Druid has literally no way to answer it. And the cool thing is, it might come down to a Dr. Boom, like, face-off. <laughs> like, whoever gets the best Boom boss just takes it away. Um, I think, it, like, technically, because you get the initiative on the plate, Dice has usually the upper hand on that front. And the Bow Rage... With a boom boss, it should be okay. Like, yeah. you just get your Dr. Boom damage, and you're probably good. Yeah. Oh! The swipe is pretty good, but I think Dr. Boom is just better, right? Yeah, I mean, why not? Mm -hmm. I mean, 
Yeah, okay, you don't... You need to deal damage, right? And use that Force of Nature Savage Rise yeah. of Lethal, so the faster you get that initial damage in, the better off you'll be. Yeah, Super JJ tries his best to remain the proactive player here. Once you start um, trading uh, swipes for minions here and not put anything on the board, then you'll just... Right. Yeah, you'll just make your you'll, you'll just render your force of nature's and savage rose useless. Yeah, you can't actually push for any damage what with that. Because you and you'll end up you having to use them for removal as well. <laughs> oh, that bomb was so Yeah, so just you wait until explosive sheep comes out. <laughs> Unstable cool number two. Do it! Do it then! No, uh, Dad didn't do it. Yeah. So what do you do now then? Uh you actually I like behind uh, the board. Oh. I kind of like going for, uh, what's, his, what's his name, Shredder, Whirlwind, Battle Rage. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm a very boring person, but I totally would do that. Cause Probably, I, think, I, I think this is safer, right? Sure, it's still a thing for sure. Because if you lose uh, the Shredder, you'll probably just lose I wonder why he didn't go for the Whirlwind first. And did, he really, uh, did he really, what, was he really that afraid of losing the Dr. Boom to the Dude, Boom Bots? you have not played enough competitive <laughs> Hearthstone, obviously, right? <laughs> I mean, come on. It's yeah, like, I know, I know. It's, it's so unlikely. You just have to take a chance well, sometimes. I mean, taking a chance right now, I think Super JJ can just go all in on because Force of Nature, right? Because look how much right? damage those dealt. He's at 19 health now. Right. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So Force of Nature, like, he can go all in because of that. Yeah. He can go Force of Nature, Hero Power, bring his opponent down to 12, and, and then the armor up is just gonna, Yeah, exactly. Unless Lothep comes out from tempo, like a tempo play. Um, yeah. I feel like I feel like Dr. Boom could have easily soaked up some damage there. Yeah. I mean, one of the interesting things, too, is that Tice is relying on getting something like, um, you know, a Dread Corsair number two, or Undra Unstable Ghoul number two, so he has to whirlwind his own minions in order to get it done. Oh my god, this is, this is just a beautiful scenario. I have to say. Will, yes, will Tyus get the not armor not. or taunt necessary? So, so you have to battle rage, right? You have to of course. fight like... Yeah. There, you have to Tyus find knows this is coming. Yeah. Tyus, Tyus, this, like, the is a true player. Yeah, he attacked my face with force and hero power on turn 8. <laughs> There's no way that's all he's got. Like, zero ways. So, Dread Corsair? He, oh! Armor Smith, but... That, oh. that would have been good in another universe, but yeah. not now. What is that, Lothab? Oh, oh my god! god. Oh my god. The crutch. It doesn't win the game, but it lets you set up an armor smith later that you can use afterwards to get armor. So now the only play that Super JJ has is pass the turn and go face. Yes. Because that would probably like it could even attack with Drudel if you want. Or but he like might be able to milk some armor. You can like from swipe it. face. I mean, that would work too. Yeah, there's no armor smith yet, so swipe yeah. face is obviously yeah, that's actually safer, safer, very safe. It sounds reasonable, actually. Yeah, yeah. Swipe I like that cute. play. Yeah, I think he saw a Dread Corsair as well already, so he's not as, it, as, as afraid of the Dread Corsair right. anymore, I think. And even if it's played, right? Because yeah, you've exactly. got Swipe, you still win, because you have 10 damage from yeah, yeah. two Trians, your hero. So. Yeah, that's correct. I mean, so the thing is here that like Super JJ actually can think about is that like I actually died to Inner Rage Gromash, right? So, oh. So he might be thinking about that as well. Um, Let's hope for him that he's not. So many things to consider. That Lothab, that was clutch. Yeah. yeah, he really needed to find it. Like he needed that or a taunt, basically. And Lothab is a lot, like a lot better at stopping that. Oh, he's um, going for Lothab yeah. himself. So, so he's going for Lothab. I think it's because of the Gromash, uh, Gromash possibility. Yeah, you can't inner rage. Mm -hmm. um, he cannot roll in. I mean, armoring up on its own is enough to get you out of that combo, though. Oh man, but so. now Tyus can actually stabilize again. Yeah, I mean. Only it's the gonna take a lot of work. It seems though. like I don't know. It seems like JJ was not really consistent with his game plan there. Going full face and then not going full face. Yeah, I, I, I mean not. technically, <laughs> technically, technically, right. he's still in the range. So I, yeah. only Armor Smith mises with that. Yeah. And one Armor Smith was played or already, the, right? Or the Dread Corsair. Yeah. One was played. Yeah. One was yeah. played already. Yeah, so it's not that likely. But I mean, Dread Corsair. Would but be yeah, good as well. I mean, Armor Smith and Dread Corsair are yeah. two decent outs, and Tice drew so many cards that it's likely that he has one of those. So I think like uh, you just play the armor smith and you set up Dead Spite, right? Because you want to get that whirlwind effect to get the armor. Yeah. Uh, and actually, Super JJ still has outs, right? If he draws just Innervate, he has exactly lethal. True. I mean, I, I'm really surprised that we just didn't see, because I mean, the swipe to face was kind of okay, but just on a single armor up from Super JJ was enough to get him out of Gromash. So I thought if you just arm it up and maybe, I don't know, went face with Drew as well, draw. it might have been okay. Uh, like, the Another Savage Roar is still really good, but... Uh, you could go... Like, you, you could, could go, go Drew to the Claw, um, Savage Roar, and just attack face. 
you could do that. Um, but you still die to. You need to. Right? You need to clear the armor smith, I think, because the death bite gives too much armor. Gives, might give too much armor. But that's a lot of damage you're doing, dude. With the druid of the claw, that's a lot of damage you're pushing. Um, yeah, but you're but pushing nine. Not right? only, not only the, the whirlwind, but also the minions that attack into the druid. And I mean, if you druid of the claw, kill the armor smith, and swipe face, uh, you put him on twelve, so armor up is still fourteen. Yeah, fourteen. So you still kill him next turn. Yeah. I mean, you die to Gromash, but I think at this point you have to kind of give up on that. Like you cannot play around Gromash. Exactly. I, I think the correct play here is not this. Oh, not this. This gives. Well, he might armor. taunt up. My guess is he's he wants to taunt up. Okay. Oh, actually, it's the, oh, actually, it's the same. Yeah, but, it, wor but it works yeah, if, out. If he charged, if he charged there, that would have been. No, 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 it's not the same. This, is, this gave one more armor, right? Oh my god. Was it? Okay. That is actually a bit, uh, a bit dangerous. That's, that's that, yeah. Uh, I mean, so what do you Did, do Is he really that afraid of Gromash? I mean, I like... Swipe Armor Smith Taunt, what it does is it forces the warrior to have the execute, like 100%, and he has to execute it by sacrificing the Shredder because he doesn't want to take phase damage, right? Um, so he has to have, like, Slam Execute, uh, or just use the Death Bite by attacking, which yeah, makes Yeah, but no look, at, look at JJ's hand, I mean... Yeah, he I needed the damage to go to face right now because how else? If, right. he, if the druid of the claw dies, how else, how is he gonna finish him? Right. How's it gonna, uh, yeah. How's it gonna, and dead Corsair is gonna like, like again clutch the row, right? Yeah, of course. So just, you play just Grim Patron, uh, dread Corsair, and armor up. It sounds pretty good. Man, Ty's just hanging on by the thread. Oh, oh my god! But but he gets the right answers every time. First the low tap, now then the armor smith, now the dread Corsair. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't really see like any cr like blatant misplays from uh, from Tice overall. The only one that was maybe questionable was the whole you know Doctor Boom not soaking. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. this can be like a pretty difficult matchup sometimes. So if you really are afraid, like the odds of the opponent having something like Force of Nature and then going face and then going for the combo, are pretty slim. So. so no inner rate again, so you cannot double combo. I mean, if you um, shade up, I think you win. Um, no, don't yeah, you, you die? have to wild growth first. Wait, to wait, check. wait, wait, wait. If, if if you shade up. You're yes. on one health. Yeah, you're on one health, so... Yeah. Fiery War excuse you... Okay, like, there's no way you yeah, can... Yeah, I mean, you cannot play around it, right? Obviously. Ooh. At this point, it would take a lot JJ to was playing around Wait. that Gromash, basically, by using that... Is he clearing? He's clearing, Yeah, right? he's clearing right now. He's still playing oh, on the Gromash. God. He sticks to his, like... Well, he's still dead to He Grom. sticks to his uh, thought that Tyus has to Gromash in order to have lethal, but obviously he doesn't have it. Right. Um... Yeah, so maybe if he goes face here with the Savage Orf, like a Force of Nature top deck actually gets in the win. So. But Force of Nature was played already. He played Force of Nature just to do six damage face. Yeah, yeah so he's got like he's yeah. got none left. He's got none left, yeah. So I don't even know what his out to win is. Uh, maybe another Shade. Um, Double Shade? Yeah, at this like, stage in the game and then get one Roar. Uh, ah, that's pretty That's pretty clutch, but I mean, you could pull it off. You get one draw from the Wild Growth, so if there's no Gromash with some kind of Enrage effect, mm -hmm. and, you know, weapons don't hit you for a thousand or minions come down, then maybe you live. And honestly, if he picks up a Shade off the top, there's a chance he does it, because these minions can't, like, the, the Frothing can't Enrage on the Shades themselves. Okay. So, so it's not going to get buffed up. Yeah. So you got to go Wild Growth, right? Like, there's... I mean, you can go Emperor Shade. Uh... Is Emperor... I mean, the Emperor is forcing really awkward trades from the Warrior if he yeah. thinks you're holding on to, to a lot of bursts. But you've played double force. I don't think Dice at this point is yeah, afraid, afraid of much. Yeah, he's not afraid of bursts right. at this moment. Um, but what can you draw with it? I don't know. Right? Emperor Shade seems fine here. Yeah, right? I, I think Emperor Shade is better. Like, anything you draw with Valkyrie is not going to help you, right? So I might as well just do this. Do you have any charge minion left? I mean, we already saw, we saw the Jewel of the Claw. Yeah. So maybe one? Uh, that's no help. Well, I mean, the execute lets you clear without trading both minions away, so that's something. That's, that's something for sure. Yeah. Um, now, my question is: Does Super JJ have Ancients of War maybe in his deck? We know he's got Lores, uh, mm -hmm. probably, and he's just going to be able to heal up if he wants to without instead of drawing. Now that he's not looking for combo pieces, so that could also give him a bit more of a, like an extension. Yeah. And the thing is actually that uh, if Dice, you know, doesn't find a way to uh, kill his opponent soon. He might not have minions to kill his opponent, right? Because you can see that there's like, sure, there are two minions, but he's cannot play the Green Patron now. I mean, he can play it, but it just dies. Uh, this is actually really, really, really good drop uh, from the Shredder. Is it? I mean, it is, because you can play Green Patron now, and Green Patron doesn't die. Uh, yeah, true, so. The sh the, the, he, with the Savage Roar, he can clear very effectively, and we still don't know what he's going to draw off the card front, the Wild Growth. 
So he needs like Red Swipe. Red Swipe seems pretty good. That's pretty, a pretty good, good card. A this, really this, good is, card. this is this card good too. Yeah. Uh, so you Valgrove first definitely to get a draw. Uh, he can Savage Roar. You can actually clear with yeah, the plus Savage Roar yeah. if he wants to stick mm -hmm. to that plan. I mean, you kind of. Yeah, I mean, look to, at this. Yeah. Tice is out of cards. What is he going to draw, really? Yeah, exactly. So, Tice kind of needs like another Death Bite or another Fireworks. Gromash Tice to needs face. Gromash. Yeah. yeah, or Gromash. That's all, that's, that's all Tice needs. So, we might even end up seeing a Druid of the Claw in Taunt mode again. Oh, that's. In this case, it would actually just die to the frothing. Frothing, right? yeah, it just dies to frothing. I mean, oh, no, the, frothing like, dies, it, the frothing dies to the shade. Sure. So if, if you mean Savage Roar and then yeah, Shade Savage with the, Roar and sure, the Druid sure. in Taunt mode, if he mm -hmm. like sticks to his guns and like keeps playing out Gromish like he did like the past five yeah, turns. But, but Grom's gonna kill it with the patron, so you're still stuck with a massive minion to deal with, and then you're dead. Unless you have, like, unless you top deck BGH out of nowhere, yeah. like, you have the BGH two ancient support. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, yeah. actually, like. Oh my yeah. god. There's Look at this. Oh my god. Unbelievable. Grom, where are you at? Well, see. I don't know, man. Too much suspense. Oh my god. This is. What what? I think I think Tice straight up draw. Uh, yeah, put up the card. In, oh, in, in this doesn't help at all. It's actually terrible because like he cannot play it because if he, he plays it. And Druid Claw can just trade it and Without even, is useless. Yeah. Yeah. Or he has you have to trade first. first. Yeah. Exactly. Wow, a two for one Druid of the Claw. And in with mode. the hero power, he <laughs> with the hero power he will actually be safe from the That's Grom. Right. Or Grom. Yeah. Yeah. No, Sylvanas basically means Grom. I don't really care. Mm -hmm. um, the only reason why Sylvanas, like, because the thing is, at this point, what uh, Super JJ could do, like, is try to damage his own self if he gets a keeper to steal the Grom, even if Grom comes down. So the good thing oh here for Tice is that like uh, if he drew Fireworks, it would be lethal. In two Over turns. two turns, yeah. Right? Now and it's, now that's it's not. Bite, yeah, yeah, exactly. Now it's not. So now his only out is like that's why, and I think that's it, right? Uh, I feel like we've seen him try to override it earlier. No, that was against the Hunter. Yeah. I, I know he's played one. So he, he played definitely one. So there should be only one that's bite in the deck, I think. Um, I mean, this bite is a really good draw for him. Yeah. 11 cards left for JJ. How many cards left for Oh him? my god! This is insane. I mean, he can just heal up to how ten. much? Yeah, he's gonna yeah, be like 11 ten, health. Ten, 11 oh health with a shapeshift so, as well. This is so clutch. And well, all you have to do at this point is just stick and just don't, just don't die. Yeah, it, he's, playing like, he's playing like he's playing mid-range druid, like ramp druid. Mm -hmm. Have you noticed? Like his play, <laughs> yeah. he play, he's playing like ramp. I haven't seen that. And he's kind of controlling play in the a board. He, uh, yeah. After after he like thought that the uh, force of nature is not going to be an option anymore to like go all in, uh, he stuck to his guns and just went for the board clear every time. Yeah, and played around Grom every time as well. Okay, so the fireworks here is not that. Bad, but so Drew is gonna be on nine on the following turn. So you have to find six from your deck over one, and you have one turn to do it. I don't, I don't even know if there's such a thing in Patreon. Yeah, I don't think there is. Yeah, Tyus will have such a hard time dealing with both so, those minions so and with whatever Super JJ can still draw. So yeah. does it mean you have to like fireworks execute like Sylvanas? Yeah, I'm, uh, because of what that does is it enables you to use the axe on the five five with Grom on the following turn yeah. if you get it, and then if there's no BGH, you can still you're basically capable of killing the the druid over two turns. Wait, is he even gonna have enough health to do that? Yeah, well, he's gonna be like really close to dead. He's gonna be like on one health, I think. Yeah. Uh, if he draws Grom, it's gonna be yeah. Two health, two health, right? Because he's got a double armor up. Yeah, that's the like he he's been, he's able to outraise the damage of the hero power. Oh, never mind. So if actually Gromash comes out on board, it doesn't help. Yeah, it's, he's still so, uh, pretty dead. Anything? No, I don't think there's a card that helps you here. Uh, Ty's probably just, just looking at the card again. Like battle rage. Is this it? And, <laughs> it, <laughs> and this is in fact it. Yeah, Tice is uh, knocked out. Super JJ is actually uh, doing pretty well there. The Patron from Ties didn't cut it. He he got the first win, maybe almost got the second one, um, but he's not gonna get the. Oh uh, look, a sigh of relief like. on Super JJ. He can I think he can't believe himself that he actually won that game. He was so stressed out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, was, that was so intense though. Like he was always like, okay, so now if he has a Grom, yeah. I lose, right? But then I can put it like. The defensive line of play actually won him the game. I really wonder how it would wind up if he was aggressive. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Um, I don't know where the mic is. Oh, you got it. All right. So, first thing first, grats for beating super uh, for beating Tice super and uh, tight. I, I actually like <laughs> super tight. making it to the 
The round of 16. 16. Yeah, thank you. That's thank a you. really big deal. That was a hard series. It was really hard. Yeah, like yeah. Uh, Ikat was telling us that you were like really stressed out beforehand, yeah. um, but I think it played out like it played out really like a lot better than you expected. Yeah, I, I try to stay focused. Thais is a really strong opponent. I think I'm really happy with every single play I made this series. Um, it was really hard. I respect Thais a lot as a player. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm happy overall. Um, worked out. I'm happy. <laughs> All right. So, so I, have, I have a question for you. So um, I, I am also really happy with how you played personally. <laughs> um, you played very well for sure. Yeah. And uh, definitely deserve victory. Uh, however, I have a question for you uh, regarding the last match. Uh, you went for like this, um, it seemed to go for like this all-in play with the uh, Force of Nature to the face, right? To set up for the combo. What, what made you change your mind? Oh yeah, so I was like he used one Armorsmith already and I bring him down to 12. So either he gets like a um, second Armorsmith there um, or the low fab or can kind of stay in that. Even if he gets it, you force him to the suboptimal place. And you saw he, the most he could make was like two patrons because of that. He had to waste the whirlwinds as well. Mm -hmm. Um, so that worked out for me. So I think going for the aggressive blind was fine. Also, my hand was kind of stuck. No, the question, no, 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 no. The question yeah, no. was, why did you not go for the combo afterwards? Yeah, you oh, had like, him at like 12 the whole time, uh, like throughout many possible turns. Then you like this head to switch taunt. to defense. Oh, I, I, I was yeah. afraid wait, of dying. Like, you <laughs> <had> <laughs> <me>. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah. I was like, actually talking. afraid of yeah. dying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so grab when, when, when you yeah. taunted up that. Uh, I played the low fab, I was like, okay. He went so so straight to a fail. I was like, okay, maybe Gromish execute in a rage. Yeah, I was like, okay, how do I play around that? Yeah, yeah. I, I get. Uh, uh, I could get like. The, eventually, you start making those plays because you start. You, you assume like you're reading into it, and then at the end, you realize, oh, he didn't have Gromish like ever. Yeah, um, I need to get but a beer now. You you got like. I, I thought that by playing defensively, because he didn't have Gromash, that assumption yeah. like would have worked in his favor. That's true. That's true. Um, but, but you did pull ahead. So I mean, congratulations on that. We're gonna see you more of you tomorrow and possibly yeah. even after that. Thank you. Uh, Thank if you, you get uh, get at the top. So we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Have a nice one. And congrats. All right. So uh, we're on to that's pretty much the last game of the day. That the last the last game of the last match. Um, it was actually a pretty good day overall. I feel like we've had a lot of good series. And uh, that's going to seal the you know, first phase of the group stage, which means now we're down to 16 players. Tomorrow we're going to have four groups uh, playing. It's going to be... Uh, all the people that passed through in the first two days are going to be going through. So we're going to have for uh, the, first, you know, the first, uh, first group, we're going to have Purple and Firebat, uh, I think, facing off against... I mean, I think it's going to be randomized a bit, where we got mm -hmm. Purple, Firebat, RDU Vortex, Zelay, Gara, Stansivka, Orange, Oskaka, Elki, Asmodai, Nimsh, Tice, Super JJ. I don't think Nimsh is going through. That that is, yeah, uh, yeah. I do not believe uh, that is. That actually is actually you Look can see this. it here. You can see it here. Look oh, at this. There we go. This, this you, you've, been watching, the you've been watching top 32, actually. Yeah, yeah. I've been. Uh, so our groups are set. I'll group, go ahead. And group A is gonna have uh, Oskaka, Froden, Ignite, and Orange. Group B is gonna have Purple, Freaky, Gara, and Vortex. Group C, RDU, Stansivka, Wreckful, and Firebat. And Group D, Powder, Zaleh, Super JJ, and Asmodai. Guys, yeah. what do you think of those groups? Uh, what are we looking forward the most? Um, I mean, Froden, can he continue with his streak? <laughs> like, that would be I, I insane. Think so, yeah. But I, what, I'm, what I'm really excited about, though, is that tomorrow, players can actually play the new cards. Right, uh, League oh, of Explorers yeah. released, so they're going to have to submit their decks. I, I know Gara and Froden, I think, were talking about that a bit earlier. Like, they were discussing options as far as what to make uh, of their, their lineups that they've got based on what might be coming out. I know, like, the thing is, since the release, people haven't played any ladder. So they have, like, no, no idea of what could work right now. At least a lot of people haven't played that much. So if the new cards change anything, Nobody really knows yet. So whoever's got like the most information, if you will, or is willing to experiment, is going to get like yeah. a bit or of a take a I risk. Think, I think a couple of players were really hyped for Reno Jackson. Yeah. Maybe they will implement it in some tor decks. Torch, Torch was like a card that was talked about here a lot as well. Yeah, so. forgotten Torch, like the, the three meta, like the three meta three damage into Fireball for three later in the game. Um, I know Thais experimented <laughs> with it a lot, like uh, in Freeze Mage. So he tried it out for the, for sure. Uh, who is this? Is that Sixo? Is, is he going purple mode on us? He's yeah, drunk so. Oh He's my drunk god. So. Do you have anything to say? I don't think so. Pork Sixo. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh my god. You what, mate? <laughs> <laughs> any, any last words, Sixo? Yeah, congrats to the 16 players that went SM Orc the most. Oh, you're, you're not in the top 16, right? No, we, I didn't go SM Orc enough. Yeah, we both lost in our group. Yeah, right? it was just congrats to the players who went face better. We faded it, right. but I mean, how, everyone. How did it feel uh, as a player to get smarked? Um, it always feels bad, but I just appreciate my opponent more preparation. 
he just knew how to hit my face better, so it's okay. I just need to prepare better. It was it was my fault. I don't yeah. blame anyone. Yeah, I can't yeah. blame RNG. It was all my. RNG. I mean, uh, do you feel you're gonna have like a good time tomorrow? Yeah, yeah. tomorrow I will just spend my hotel room, prepare for my next tournament, and. <laughs> I'm sure I can go SM walk next game. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, Tixo, for these uh, wise words of awesomeness. This was very appreciated. You, sa you salvaged this cast. That being said, um, thanks for watching, guys. We'll be back tomorrow. It's going to be another day of broadcast. We're going to have, again, another day after that. So it's not going to be all. We're just going to know who goes through. I'm, I'm still rooting for Frodan. And at this point, I wonder if the odds, you know, on the internet for you know, eBay yeah. have kind of changed in his favor a bit. I don't think that much. Um, but definitely something to look out for. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. And, uh, yeah, tune in tomorrow. We'll be there.